Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for May 20th to the 26th. This is for Cancer and Cancer Rising, and we're going to jump right into it, Cancer. This is a huge week. We have a major, major shift happening this week. This is going to be a memorable week for sure. Now, uh, you know your life is changing, right, Cancer? You can trace it back to that uh, new moon total solar eclipse we had in Aries. We just came out of that really auspicious new moon in Taurus. Uh, you know, if you saw your last week's reading, I talked more about the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction that happened April 20th. You're still feeling that this week, especially with, hey, Venus and Jupiter conjuncting the, the two benefits getting together to make your life wonderful. I mean, this is definitely going to be a really big week, especially because we also have the best and most wonderful full moon of the entire year. Cancer of the entire year. So definitely you're uh, feeling some shifts, especially with Jupiter moving into Gemini. We're going to talk about that. You know, this is definitely going to be a really big shift for you. Now, uh, we kick it off on Monday, as you can see. Uh, and, you know, it's asterisk here. The, that's, you know, the the best aspect of the week, but there's just so many great things happening this week, okay? Uh, we kick it off on Monday with the sun moving into Gemini. We are officially in Gemini season. This is really big. This is where you're going to find yourself being a lot more social, a lot more outgoing, but in a way where I feel like you are just going to be naturally gravitating toward people that really share the same qualities as you. There could be this nurturing quality of you that you're known for that's really coming out this time too. Uh, but I feel like you're going to be like, uh, there's almost this sense of like influence that's coming out for y'all uh, for Gemini season. Now, what's really interesting is that Gemini is very a social sign. Okay. But it's also a lot of mental stimulation. Now, Gemini, Gemini rules your 12th house. The 12th house is your private sector. It's hidden things. It's hidden, hidden matters. It's the subconscious. Uh, it's intuition, okay? And I always say it, Cancer, y'all are just so natively intuitive already. So uh, it really is, you know, the 12th house is, uh, you know, uh, ruled by Pisces. So that's your BFF right there, fellow water sign. Uh, so it is this nice feeling that, that you're going to have. And again, a lot of it can be through writing as well. Remember, Gemini is, you know, the native ruler of the third house of communication. So that's why a lot of people are just going to be social with with the sun and Gemini during Gemini season the next four weeks, but also writing, researching, things like that, learning new things. That's the thing about what's happening now is you're going to be very curious, especially intuitively. OK, trust your intuition now. And I've, it's almost like I don't have to tell that to you because y'all do that already. But really trust your intuition. Have that really uh, big connection. There's really nice connection to your intuitive side uh, for the next four weeks. You may feel it just develop in this really nice way. Uh, and just being very, very, uh, you know, even social with your neighbors, uh, you know, uh, a family too, okay? And when I say family, you know, uh, Gemini rules, uh, you know, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbors, things like that. Y'all may be going on little short trips too. Uh, but if not, it could even be just like going to places in your mind that you've never been to before like that's how deep like this energy is and it's only because it's amplified with Jupiter and Venus as well now on Wednesday wow this is gonna be really 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 big uh, uh we have two trines okay we have two Pluto trines this is going to be pretty, pretty major for you okay really major for you especially on Wednesday the sun trining Pluto now the sun trining Pluto really is this force of empowerment, this empowerment energy that I really want you to embrace. This is definitely going to be something where uh, you could feel very stimulated around this time. Remember, the sun is in Gemini at this point. Pluto is in Aquarius in your eighth house. OK, there's this depth to the eighth, eighth house, also this intensity to the eighth house, but it is really diving deep, even on a psychological level. So you have the two houses that are very like up here, right? Up here in terms of the subconscious, the unconscious, in terms of intuition, spirituality, okay? Really, really big. So you could have these really big intuitive moments on this day, but even still the sense of empowerment and what really doubles down on that is the fact that Pluto is retrograde in Aquarius 
Aquarius. And as I explained in your past reading, when this happened earlier this month, that really just allows you to, you know, acknowledge and recognize any challenges that you've been going through to unroot them and to, you know, uh, 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 clear the clear the decks, clear the decks. OK, so uh, there is also Pluto with Pluto at play here. Something about other people's money could be resonating for you. Uh, and when I say that, it could be inheritance, investments, bonuses, commissions, maybe even like uh, joint bank accounts at this time. But this is just, you know, uh, you having this inner transformation it's you're really going to shine now. I really want you to feel this. It's going to be this empowerment energy is going to be very profound. You will definitely feel this, especially because we're now entering these series of, you know, the, the, the Pluto trines, you know, we have another one in uh, June that I really, really love, but just know this is you feeling very compelled to go deep too, okay? Unafraid to go to like, even those places in your mind where you're just like, oh, I don't want to think about this thing that happened, you know, you know, years ago, I've, I've, I'm ignoring it. But now you may feel so empowered, just like, boom, be gone, flick, right? It's like, think of Superman or, you know, Supergirl, right? Just breaking free from chains of kryptonite. This is how you're going to feel this day. I really, really, really love this. Um, definitely something with uh, people, authority figures. Uh, it's, it, it may come around this time too, but in this way where, again, you feel empowered to, you know, maybe ask for a raise or there, just something here. Just pay attention to this day. It is a very, very, very strong day, and you're going to feel this throughout, you know, the rest of the month. And, you know, when we get to Jupiter trading Pluto in June, that's going to be amazing. Now, Thursday, you can see it is a very loaded day. Very loaded day. We kick it off on Thursday. Uh, the first things first, the full moon in Sagittarius. If you saw my monthly forecast or even my annual forecast, you know that I said this is my favorite full moon of the year. This is the best full moon of the year. This is a Jupiter ruled full moon. This is going to be really, really auspicious. Really, really nice. Very optimistic energy here. There's this adventurous spirit that that uh, you may feel around this time and remember uh there's that orb of degree you could feel the effects of the full moon a few days before a few days after here's the thing about this a full moon in sagittarius full moons typically br bring endings culminations conclusions to things i want you to see this as a new beginning okay i want you to see that part of it okay because with every ending something new begins right so there's really more of a shift and a focus on what's going to transpire for you now now this full moon in sagittarius sagittarius does rule your sixth house so this could be a really big thing this could be a big moment for you the sixth house rules everyday activities your routines so your entire life could be really shifting now you could be falling into a new routine especially work related remember mars is still in aries mars is still in aries with a north node in your 10th house of career fame public recognition honors achievements and now you've got this full moon in sagittarius and your sixth house which is heavily related to work okay the process of work employment things like that there, there could be something ending here something new beginning but focusing on that new because look at all the other aspects that are happening this day so i absolutely uh love this full moon the other thing that's happening venus officially moves into gemini and venus will be in gemini for a few weeks again this is more having this mental connection uh really being social really being active uh again this is all 12th house for you so a lot of intuitive energy that comes along with this for you but i i i uh you're just going to feel this really big shift and you could even crave like this mental connection with other people around this time as well when venus moves into gemini because the sun is here as well and as you know jupiter is going to move into gemini i will talk about that in a second but uh real quick venus conjuncting jupiter really really big uh possibly the second best day of the entire year so luckiest remember jupiter is good fortune good luck prosperity expansion okay now what is so special about this is it's the two like i said the two benefic planets getting together to leave you this parting gift and i say parting gift because venus conjuncting jupiter is happening at 29 degrees of Taurus, all right? 29 degrees is a critical degree. Now, without getting too much into it, think of this, there's 30 degrees, right? So think of it as, 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 as again, a parting gift, gift. This is the second parting gift after that new moon in Taurus. It's still in Taurus before Venus moves into Gemini, all right? So this is your 11th house of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. 
Hey, hey, this is amazing. 11th house is also your social network, groups you belong to, organizations you belong to. If there's something there for you, there's got to be something really nice. You can even make a new friend because this is such a big, big day. Okay. Uh, you know, it is, uh, if you, if you work in social media or, you know, maybe you want to do something like social media wise, like build your own brand or a channel or, or whatnot. Hey, 11th house is social media. Yeah, take advantage of this day. This is really, really, really nice. You could definitely feel like this rush of energy. This is such a unique aspect uh, because Venus conjuncting Jupiter and Taurus clearly it doesn't have this is it hasn't happened in 12 years okay hasn't happened in 12 years so i really want you to take advantage of this uh really really thriving energy that's happening it's just really major now on the same day venus will sextile uh neptune as well as jupiter sextiling neptune how amazing okay because you see what's happening here with all these Pluto trines in your eighth house, okay? And then, you know, with the Sun, Jupiter, Venus moving into your 11th house. And now you have these Neptune uh, aspects that are very, very harmonious. Exhales are very harmonious. Neptune's in Pisces, okay? In your ninth house of spirituality. So, some of y'all could just become like really psychic around this time. Like that's the level of intuition that you're going to have in spirituality. And this is your belief system, how you see things. It's also publishing. Okay. If there's publishing and broadcasting uh, that you're working on or that's part of your goals. I mean, this is like you just having these really creative energies around this time. But, you know, Neptune is spirituality and, you know, intuition and even dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. What are they telling you now? Do you have dreams of falling or flying or you know uh eating a lot of cake whatever it is think about it and really process it because your dreams definitely like your subconscious is really at work down uh Nep neptune is also you know, there's a sense of like creativity around this time as well uh so you could really feel that but there's so much just with jupiter sextiling neptune so much faith so much good fortune here so much harmon harmonizing uh but like a really big emphasis on on, on uh like spiritual enlightenment okay you'll feel spiritually moved really love this for you and just you know manifesting your dreams and your goals and really achieving them like right now this is a big time for you now on saturday jupiter officially moves into gemini the first outer planet this year to change signs this is very significant another aspect 12 years right 12 years this is not happened okay since june 2012 2013 uh Dude, everyone's going to feel this shift. Everyone's going to feel this shift because the sun and Venus is there too. So it really amplifies that energy. But it's basically Taurus passing the baton over of all this good luck, prosperity, expansion, wisdom, belief over to Gemini, again, ruling your 12th house. So for the next year, June 2025, from now until June 2025, you will have that expansion and that luck and prosperity in 12th house matters okay so again spirituality intuition uh uh facing any fears is is a big thing around this time get really really unrooting things from you know even deeply subconscious but this is a time where you'll just find your world expanding you know your world's going to be expand uh expanding jupiter and gemini is a very like mentally stimulating uh uh placement it's a it's it's really really cerebral for for y'all Definitely. Uh, but it is uh, curiosity. Again, you will be curious about doing new things, thinking about new things, feeling it intuitively as well. And just being very open minded as well is, is very Jupiter and Gemini being open minded to doing new things, seeing the big picture, seeing what, uh, you know, if you have FOMO, like actually doing things now, like this is definitely your time. This is your time to just uh, really use this energies and even like the way that you communicate. Remember, Gemini is communication you could be changing the ways that you communicate now all right there's a lot of different ways where you communicate uh you, in terms of feeling wiser as well you know we are talking about gemini here but even communicating in different ways on so many different levels uh and just in a way that everything makes sense for you okay kind of like Kind of like Amy Adams in Arrival, all right? Just finding different ways of, of, of communicating. And then lastly, Venus trining Pluto on the same day. Oh, my goodness. Two Pluto trines. Trines are enormously auspicious. 
enormously auspicious. And this is Pluto, which has a lot of power. It packs a huge punch, okay? And so just keep that in mind. I mean, if, uh, just a big shift happening right now. Venus trining Pluto, definitely money-related stuff would likely happen for you now okay there's there's a good uh, if you if money is a comfort concern for you venus not only love and relationships but money pluto money i mean hey hey put wheels in motion take some action this is a placement that's all about passion and yes sex sexual energy especially for you with pluto retrograde uh in aquarius in your eighth house remember eighth house is also intimacy all right so uh definitely there could be a lot of that activity around this nut time where you're thinking about that uh in terms of what you want moving forward or just going with emotions it is a lot of sexual energy but it's also a lot of money energy uh this is just really really Really, really nice. So uh, let's get started. All right, let's get started. See what's going on for you, Cancer, for uh, the week of May 20th to the 26th. Again, this is for Cancer and Cancer Rising. And, you know, if you are, by the way, this is a good time because Jupiter is moving into Gemini. I would highly recommend if you're not reading your rising sign, you know, if I did like a video on, on how to get your rising sign uh, on the main channel of my uh youtube channel of the page or whatever but d definitely read your rising and this is that one time a year where i talk about that because jupiter is going to you know obviously affect your right everything all these transits aspects affect your rising more right so uh definitely check out your rising because that's where you're going to feel most of this luck that jupiter is coming so see what sign that's in because you want to merge the two you get the full picture when you read your sun and your rising okay of course the moon too the big three we're talking about as well all right so let's get started let's Let's see what's going on for you. Cancer for the week of May 20th to the 26th uh, for Cancer and Cancer Rising. If you want to read for your moon, your Venus, you're absolutely welcome to. Now, Cancer, I do a traditional cult across spread. Really does offer the best overview if we need to pull clarifiers. We will. Yeah, you. We will. You know we will. Uh, and also, Cancer, you know I love y'all. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, how was the new moon for you? I'll leave comments. Tell me. Do you like my uh, new moon haircut? You know, Venus was in Taurus. Venus in Taurus, all about beauty, right? Anyway, let's get started. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Um, wow. Wow. So, you know, there are times when sometimes, you know, I'm just a little speechless. I'm just a little speechless. And okay, so let's 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 move this along. Uh, you just got the two of cups, which is really great. I absolutely love this for you. I hope you know this is actually uh, attributed to you. This is a cancer card. All right. So two of cups uh, really forming this bond now. That is something that you may have done recently with possibly like a new partnership. There could have been something there. There could be something where uh, you're really forming a bond in terms of relationships, love and relationships as well. Uh, it could even be very platonic, but this is... I mean, we call this the soulmate card in layman's terms, right? The true love card, the twin flame card. So yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, you have a lot of career stuff happening for you, but doesn't rule out the fact that, yes, this is a card of love. It's love transcending time and space itself, building these bonds with other people. Uh, really, really nice. And again, it, it can be very platonic. It can be like in, in romantically as well. But wow, you are really really great here uh this really is two souls inhabiting one body so you're definitely moving in that direction and you're feeling it on this it's just this emotional vibrational frequency that's really really high that feels really good as you enter this week and wow things are going to move fast for you with the eight of wands in the heart of your spread now what i love about this is this is a sagittarius card it is attributed to actually mercury is sagittarius but boom 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 you see the ones just zipping through the air okay now when i say it's attributed to sagittarius think about the symbol for sagittarius the archer right think of these as arrows just whoosh, 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 right great sound effects jimmy great sound effects 
just zipping to, they're in their happy place and they're not only in their happy place they're completely aligned everything's aligning for you things are moving for you and you are and you are definitely being a lot really really active okay ones are your passions your ambitions everything that uh uh even creativity it's it's so so nice very work related as well so there really could be something here uh where you could have formed a new partnership got a new job something where you formed it uh maybe even started your own business but there is a level of this uh ascension that's happening this is really nice remember we have that full moon in sagittarius remember i said that it's just a wonderful full moon, the best one of the year, but things, think about that beginning that's happening. But it seems like uh, for a lot of y'all, something will uh, land as soon, something that you've been hoping for. It's something that just feels really, you like feel it deep down in your bones, okay? Uh, but just think everything aligning for you now in the heart of your spread. I absolutely love that. You got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? You got the Wheel of Fortune in your challenge area. So, be very open-minded this week. Be open-minded to some of these paths opening up for you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is a 10, right? One zero equals one. Uh, you really, it, so f for a lot of y'all, there could be some things that you really wanted that may have not happened yet, okay? Remember, this is a weekly reading. The keyword is yet, all right? So it's not saying that it's not gonna happen, but just be open-minded to a lot of these different paths that are opening up for you and, uh, and, and don't like disclose anything yet. Like just be, uh, until you feel it intuitively. And again, I don't even have to tell you that y'all are cancers y'all are so intuitive but uh remember this is and the reason why i say it may be something that you really 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 wanted remember last week's reading okay so uh yeah so there is this uh, sense of just really trusting your intuition and just going with things for now and making sure that uh, you're still at this speed of the eight of wands, like things moving for you, okay? Uh, and it also is indicating for you to take action, okay? But it just seems like you will. <laughs> it seems like you will this week, taking action for the things that you want, that you really, really, really want, all right? So now uh, you do have the Page of Cups in your crown. Absolutely love this. Page of Cups has a lot of Cancerian energy as well this is really 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 nice page of cups uh you're definitely in this headspace where you are for some of y'all it's almost like you're on this brink of discovering this really deep intuitive side of yours, a spiritual side of yours, uh, that's growing and it's bringing you a lot of joy. And it, you know, this week you may really, really feel that the other thing is you are open to new opportunities and you are really, really, uh, you know, manifesting them, right. Manifesting them something that's going to just, you know, not only fill you with joy, but also like, in a sense where you're following your bliss, okay? And it's it, it, you may be thinking about that a lot this week, but uh, something new, remember, something new. Pages are those newbies in the royal court. Uh, and they're really young, sure, but they're still in the royal, uh, royal court, so they hold a lot of power. Now, you also have the uh, seven of pentacles and the rudier spread. Yeah, this is a week where you may be sitting on some decisions where you're still just like, okay, I've invested all my time and effort and blood and sweat and tears, heart and soul into this one thing. Let me take a pause and see if this is actually what I want. Okay. And I'm not saying that, you know, uh, to like end something. I'm just saying, take that pause, use your intuition. Is it something that you want? Okay. Uh, and if it is keep going, keep going. All right. But just take that pause this week. It's a good week to take that pause, you know, just like he's doing, and it may be something where it is a uh, 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 almost like crossroads energy. But remember, there's so many new things happening for you that you can look forward to. Just use your intuition this week to know what you want, because, wow, you got the sun in your future. Uh, hello. If you've ever gotten a tarot reading, by the way, Cancer, you know, this is the biggest. Yes. I mean, this is optimism. This is optimism, growth, vitality. This is abundance. This is opportunity. Opportunities. This is achievement. This is feeling free. Okay, you've uh, you're good. You're absolutely good. Um, your 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 future is golden. You are your gold. Your gold. Your gold. Your gold. Uh, you're gold and good. You're good and gold. Let's get to your stuff. Cancer. Oh my goodness. What a week. This is going to be a week. This is a great week. The, uh, uh, if you like this reading, by the way, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments, tell me what's going on. I want to hear. I want to know what's going on. I love reading through your comments. Uh, and you know, I love y'all. Thanks so much for being here. Wow. Yeah. 
This I'm going to say it. This is uh, quite possibly, you know, one of your best weekly readings. This is just so much movement, so much energy, so much enthusiasm, so much like just a lot happening here. Um, wow. Okay. So you did get the moon. You got the moon. Uh, well, what's really interesting is where it falls in your spread. It's just kind of like, yeah, you may have a lot on your mind. Just remember, trust your intuition. That's what the moon is. Okay. Uh, so uh, remember that I said earlier how Pisces rules your ninth house and you have Saturn and Neptune there. In tarot, the moon is attributed to Pisces. Okay. You know, in astrology, the moon rules you. So this is Pisces energy. So again, spirituality. So trust your intuition. Spirituality, it, it's it's really going to get you far. It's going to make all that difference. All right. And remember how I said there is that intensity with Pluto and Aquarius in your eighth house. And so with these Pluto trines, have those moments of breaking free. Okay. Have those moments of breaking free from anything that may be holding you back. Anything that you're, uh, you feel like there's a level of you being more in your headspace and maybe over analyzing things rather than using your intuition okay so put all of your you know all that effort i should be pointing up here your pineal gland right your uh your your sixth sense your third eye right here okay uh shift all that energy there and you're gonna be great you're gonna be fine because you also got the ace of swords Oh my goodness. Yeah, you did. Uh, new beginnings are definitely coming through uh, in a huge way because you got the Ace of Swords with the Sun, uh, with the Eight of Wands, with the Two of Cups. Like you're definitely, you know, Ace of Swords is more of this breakthrough that you're going to have on this, you know, in terms of your uh, mindset, headspace. This is like having that mental breakthrough, all right? But it's also, it's a lot more than that. This is true perception. You see the sword straight to the sky here, all right? So uh, just really, really being honest with yourself about a lot of things, but also having all this power. Remember, this is the biggest sword in all of tarot. With great power comes great responsibility with all these uh, powerful aspects, especially with Pluto this week is your empowerment it's your inner transformation but it's in your external factor so yeah there is definitely going to be uh possibly a really big message that comes through remember swords are the mental suit communication logic thinking so it's definitely like a big message coming through uh this big breakthrough that's coming through for you something with a lot of victory success that you know comes with the ace of swords uh but there's definitely this freeness this freeness that's really nice contracts too you know we are entering gem Gemini season with Jupiter moving in there too as well. So there could be some contracts coming up, coming through. Uh, you do have the Eight of Swords, but where this falls in your spread, it's like that's the last thing you want. You, the last thing you want is being in a place where you're not being honest with yourself, okay? Where you where you don't feel stuck, where you don't feel like you're overanalyzing things. Uh, there even could be a sense of like, uh, you know, this is a Gemini card too. Remember, that is your 12th house. So a lot of subconscious things. So again, breaking free from that, that's it. It's, it's almost like that's all you want to do, okay, uh, is just break free from anything that may be holding you back up here. And then lastly, the hangman. I mean, you don't need any clarifiers. Everything here is clear as day. You have the hangman in your final outcome. This is having that, you know, moment of surrender that you are seeking and that you're going to have this breakthrough, right? So this is the hangman who uh, it comes right before the death card, the card of transformation. You can see himself uh, preparing for this big transformation. He has a huge smile on his face. He's got a halo around his head, a lot of enlightenment. Okay. And in order to have this transformation that you're about to have, surrender the things that you no longer need, leave them in the past. Okay. Uh, especially spiritually, this is a very spiritual card. Uh, you're going to be absolutely amazing. And what's also really hitting home is remember this week we have Jupiter and Venus exhaling Neptune. Okay. Neptune and Pisces in your ninth house of spirituality, the hanged man attributed to Neptune. You're good. You're absolutely good. So remember that is, oh my goodness, like Neptune and Pisces in your ninth house of spirituality. You have the hanged man, very spiritual. I mean, like you're good and it, like, wow, wow. Uh, just expect big change, big breakthrough, uh, a lot in the horizon for you here. Uh, uh, you're moving in this direction that is just three chefs kiss who i've never done that for anyone cancer cancer y'all are amazing thanks so much for tuning in if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments let me know what's going 
on. Tell me what's going on. I definitely want to hear it. Uh, next week, we will talk more about... Uh, there's still so many major aspects. There's still so many major aspects. And then remember, a lot of you know what's happening now, you're going to feel up until you know the beginning of June. And then we hit your birthday season. So a lot to look forward to. But anyway, Cancer, thanks so much. Um, uh, uh, and I will see you next week. Okay, thanks so much. Bye, Cancer. Bye-bye.